Okay, it's Mongoose Jake here again. This time I've got a T-40 Ace Tanker on Swamp, as you can see. That's the uh, T-40 as in the Tier 4 American Tank Destroyer that leads down the Jackson line and all the way down, of course, to the very famous T-95 and T-123. It is the more non turreted line of the U.S. Tank Destroyers. Of course, the other line goes down the T-67 Hellcat, and at Tier 4 it has the M-8A-1. T-40 is actually a pretty good little tank destroyer. It has multiple gun options that are effective. I'm running the 76mm, but the other choice is, of course, the very popular 105mm howitzer. Now, it overall is a M3 lead that is actually built the way it should have been. It does not have a turret, but the gun sweep is great. It has lots of traverse side to side, as you can see there, with the the whole open casemate. It is a M3 Lee basically with the whole top of it shaved off. And that gives it a much lower profile, allows the gun to move far better, and of course it does carry the, the two different potent weapons. But now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the T40 with its pretty good mobility and get into a bush up front initially. But my team was pushing up, so I'm going to keep moving forward with them. But my goal is to get up front to where I can get this gun into action as quickly as possible. Because, of course, this is a tier battle that's split, 3 and 4. So you got a number of tier 4s at the top and a whole bunch of tier 3s lower on the list. And I'm just wanting to get involved as quick as I can, as my teammate went down right there already. This 76mm packs a punch for a tier 4, so getting it into action instead of waiting around would be quite important, especially with the faster paced battles that you'll see here at the uh, mid to lower level. You can see me painting back and forth, because there's a, a Panzer 3E, which is a very quick tier 3 German light that can carry a couple of punchy guns on it itself but I don't know exactly which side he's going to pop up on. He's gotten spotted a couple times. i also swing around to see if I might have a shot over here, but too many buildings in the way. And this Panzer III is definitely, definitely a tempting target, but he's just not quite showing the tip-top of his turret. I just keep inching forward. I don't want to leave the safety of this big boulder too far, because once I get spotted, I won't even know it, because I am running a under 100% crew here. He finally did poke up enough that I got a, a shot at his Commander Scapola, and I finished that off. But I've already noticed our map is not looking very good. The whole eastern side was being held by one little PZ-2G, and he's done what he can, but he's about to be completely overrun. So I'm at least racing back to the middle here, with the other T-40 and I'll take a quick look and I know that I'm going to need to get down because I'm watching the enemies run down the eastern side and they're going to be on our base capturing it any second here. And the other T-40 is already making the right move as well so I'm going to stick with him and get down here to the lower part of the map. I'll keep pushing on because I do have binoculars mounted so if I can get down here to the very edge, I suspect they'll be capturing any moment now. I can get around this corner here, use it for some cover, and of course there are the enemies, and I'm able to spot them from here. I start throwing shots, but I'm not letting it fully aim, and with a subpar crew, it took me at least three tries to get my first hit in. I miss again, but luckily I have, I have some cover there. So I'm able to get rid of one of the capturers. And I see the other T-40 in trouble. He's getting circled by one of the Panzer 1Cs. And I auto-aim onto him. Nail him. And now his engine's burning as he tries to speed along. But with my teammate safe, now I can go back to trying to get rid of the enemies on our base here. So we've got the little Stuart. I finally nail him, take his tracks out, 
teammate puts a hit into him while I can finish him. It's right now it's 11 to 10. So far, been very quick pace battle, just like I said earlier. And I, it, at this point, it looks like it could go one way or the other. And I don't want to hesitate. I need to get motoring on because with the quicker pace of these battles, hesitation can not only cost your teammates their tanks, but it can also cost the battle here. As I spin around, I see a T-80. He actually was able to knock out the other T-40 on my team. And he's tracked, so I keep putting shots over there. Now, even though he disappears, because the other T-40 was the one spotting him, I'm able to get the blind kill, because I didn't think he would have his tracks repaired in time. And that put us back ahead again, because the enemy team had tied it up. We got the Swedish tank destroyer up on the ridge line there, who is already having a pretty good game himself on the enemy team. He's trying to defend his base. It looks like he's got an M2 medium helping him spot. And there he knocks out our PZ-38NA. See, at that point, if I was that Panzer, I would have sped away, and probably I would have probably went up to A3 if I had been him. A3 has a little dip where you can get in behind some terrain, and instead of sitting out in the open on the base trying to capture it. But too late for that right now, and he obviously thought he could capture out. But while the Swedish tank destroyer finished off the last teammate I had, it gave me the opportunity to get in behind him. And since he was a one-shot kill, that was nice quick recovery. So now I just gotta find this M2 medium and deal with him. When I see him here, he was speeding off and he could have just kept going but he decided to spin around and it gives me the chance to put one and two hits into him to take him out for the win. Okay, on to the results here. Of course that was an ace tanker. Also had the fire for effect. And the top gun. Moving on to the team results. Shows my 1155 damage, 7 kills, and 925 experience was good enough for the ace. There are the medals again. Didn't get that many this time around. I did fire 19 shots, had 13 hits, and 13 penetrations. So 100% penetration ratio on the actual hits. And made a bit over 12,000 credits. Just want to say thanks for watching. Hope it was entertaining. And leave any comments or questions below, and I'll do my best to respond. But again, thanks for watching, and take care.